From this video onwards, we are going to learn about what are the control flow statements available in Kotlin programming language. So the first one is if-else statement. The if-else statement is used for check some condition. If the condition is found to be true, it will execute the if part. Otherwise, it will execute the else part. If there is more than one condition for check, you can use if-else-if block. I will explain it with some example. Here I create some variable. First variable is a, uh, that is of type integer, initialized with the sum value 5. Now create another variable b, that is also integer type, initialized with the sum value 10. Now we are going to check which, which, which number is bigger by using an if statement. If a greater than b, print some message a is greater than b now implement the else part in that case print the message b is greater than a so now we can check the output So here b is greater than a. So if there is more than one condition for check, you can use if else if block. For example, here there is another possible condition if both numbers are the same. That is also another possible situation. So we can check it using another block called else if block. So here we can check the condition if a equal to b. That means both the numbers are same. In that case, print the message. Both numbers are the same. So for int a and b, I use the same numbers. So check the output of the program. So here in this case, the else if part will execute. Okay, so if there is only one statement associated with an if or else, there is no need of this bracket. You can avoid the bracket. You can avoid the bracket if there is only one statement. So check the program output again. It worked fine. 